St Francis. He had quite a mischievous sense of humour, I think, mm. and also was a little bit crazy. One of the things that strikes me about St Francis is the way he was able to combine a seriousness of intention and a spontaneity. He was very earnest, utterly committed to bringing people into faith and so on. But not earnest in the sense that he couldn't have a laugh. He had quite a mischievous sense of humour, I think. Uh, my name's Andrew Mays. I'm a fairly newly retired priest. I've been working, well, my last job was in Cyprus and the Gulf, and I've also worked in Jerusalem at St Francis. It's a little bit unpredictable. Not unhinged, but un unpredictable. Uh, you know, he rolled around in the snow, he uh, got a twig and started playing the violin because he loved music and singing. <laughs> He understood what it was to feel depressed and unhappy, mm -hmm. and he understood joy. Mm. A man who fiddles with two sticks of wood to make people <laughs> laugh, what is not to like? Yeah. I definitely think that Francis's spirituality was one that was suffused with joy. Francis adopted a simple way of life, but that mm. doesn't mean that it was a way of life full of sorrow. Mm -hmm. In fact, Francis saw a great truth that you can actually be more joyous by leaving behind those things that distract mm, you, mm, mm. the burdensome wealth that actually causes mm. you more sorrow than it does joy. Mm. He could sleep on a pillow that I wouldn't put as a foundation of a house, it's so rocky, and wake up the following morning and sing. wake up at the following morning grumbling about the pillow we got. He was happy for any pillow for his head and I think it is that he is at ease with himself and who he is having gone through the fire as it were and is able to teach us to be the same. Uh, you can't fabricate joy. It's It becomes a spring in you from the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the joy is there, and sometimes the spring is quieter. Mm -hmm. But, so we can't say, I'm going to have a joyful day today. We just can say, I'm going to be as open as possible today mm -hmm. to God and to others, and we'll see what happens. There's this underlying, it's like a brook. It yeah. runs through your life, mm -hmm. this, this feeling of... Not contentment exactly, and not pleasure, because joy is neither of those things, mm. is it? it? It is this feeling that you are right with God, mm -hmm. and whatever goes wrong, it will be all right. Yeah. Just, mm. just trust in it. Mm. Tertia is delight in fun and laughter, rejoicing in God's world, its beauty and its living creatures. And Francis' joy, I mean, his ability mm. to laugh and to, to make the best of the most awful things when he was in prison, <laughs> he irritated the warders because he sang so loud. <laughs> I like that. I'd like to think I could do that if I was a prisoner of war. I'm not sure I could. But I, I like that yeah. very much. And this, this joy, this certainty yeah. that ripples through your life, yes, it is important. Yeah. Christianity is ultimately based upon three main things, I believe, love, mm. faith and joy. Mm. And it's not true Christianity unless there is a great deal of joy involved in it, mm. because God wants us all to be joyous. Mm -hmm. God rejoices mm -hmm. in the joy of his creatures, and that's why he calls upon us to love one another 
because it's through loving one another that we actually create mm -hmm. joy, mm -hmm. true joy, mm -hmm. in one another. That joy is a key element in the Franciscan vocation. Uh, some people outside of it might think that Christians are rather solemn mm. and boring, mm. and some are. <laughs> but, you know, we can be serious, but joyful at the same time. I think this is yeah. what Francis is saying by his life and by his, yeah. by his actions. Yeah. Okay. And so it would be a lovely thing if Franciscans were known uh, not by their cleverness or by their mm. enthusiasm even, but by their joy. Because the joy is a God-given a God gift.